So in the Madeleine model, dispersal is the process by which organisms move around and the process that essentially links uh, the, the spatial regions of, of the model, both on land and in the ocean. Things are slightly different uh, on land and in the ocean, of course, because we have oceanographic currents that move organisms, particularly planktonic organisms, in a different way. But on land, we have uh, three different types of dispersal. Um, the first is, is dispersal for juveniles, which essentially uh, move at a rate proportional to their body mass. Uh, so larger organisms, heavier organisms move further. And they, they try and uh, seek out uh, somewhere, a, a new territory, if you like, a new place to go. So juveniles will, will continue to move essentially following a, a random walk dispersal process until they reach maturity. And when they become an adult, then their, their uh, dispersal switches to a different form, which is based on two things. So firstly, it's based on uh, resource availability. So if there is uh, limited food available in the environment, then uh, organisms will, will begin to starve, and so their body mass will decline. And when this happens, the um, probability of dispersal is, is proportional to the loss in body mass. So, uh, you know, a significant reduction in, in food resource availability will lead to a um, higher probability of, of dispersal as they go and, and try and find somewhere that's, that's more suitable. The second form of, um, of uh, movement is, is based on uh, reproduction and is essentially based on the, the density of other similar organisms in the environment. So the idea is that they are looking for a mate and there needs to be a certain density of, of potential mates within the uh, surrounding environment. And this density is, is based on, uh, again, based on the organism's body size. So the idea being that larger organisms, you know, for example, a bear could search a, a greater area for a, a potential mate than a, an ant or a spider. So organisms will, uh, will essentially, uh, if the availability of potential mates within the environment is, is below a particular threshold, uh, they will, they will uh, disperse and try and find somewhere where there are more suitable uh, partners, if you like. And that's the three types of dispersal on land. In the ocean, we have, we have all of those as well, uh, but we also have uh, particularly planktonic organisms moving via um, advective diffusive processes, so essentially being pushed along by the ocean currents. And to do this, we take in um, outputs from a, a data simulation model, an oceanographic model, which, um, which has the, the motion of the, of the world's currents. And then we superimpose on top of that a uh, a diffusion process so that uh, organisms will, uh, planktonic or organisms will, will uh, follow the currents and then also diffuse outwards. So those, um, those uh, uh, dispersal types, so um, planktonic, juvenile and uh, the, the adult uh, dispersal um, processes are those that we, that we have at present in the, in the Mattingly model.